Here I am outside St. Tudrig's Church. In there is the body of King Tudrig, the person who I believe was the historical origin behind Uther Pendragon, the famous father of King Arthur. And in fact, over here, there is a, a nice depiction of him. So uh, it's probably nothing like what he looked like, but it's uh, a nice little uh, statue. And over here, there is a really cool uh, information board. So it says, King Tudrig was a Celtic king of Gwent with a history of success in battle. At some point in his reign, he abdicated in favour of his son Myrig in order to live a hermit's life at Tintern. However, when a Saxon threat to the kingdom emerged, he was asked to return to lead the Celts into battle. Now that is an almost identical story to the story of the, uh, the latter part of Uther Pendragon's life. He stepped down from being a king in favour of his son-in-law, Lot, uh, in the Arthurian legend, but then he was having trouble fighting the Saxons, so he asked Uther to return, which he did, and then, well, the rest of the story uh, of Tudrig's life is that he did manage to defeat the Saxons. In fact, I'll read it to you from the information board. It says, uh, the Saxons were defeated at the Battle of Pontesicen near Tintern, but Tudrig was mortally wounded by a blow to the head. And then, later on, uh, he died. So, just like there, in the story of Uther, Uther Pendragon, Uther does defeat the Saxons, but then after the battle his condition deteriorates and then a few days later he dies. Incidentally, he dies uh, by a spring in the story. He dies by a spring. And if you look here, it says, uh, it is said that when he stopped, water gushed from the ground at the point now called St. Tudrig's Well. His wounds were bathed, but Tudrig knew that he did not have long to live and asked that the church be built in the place where he died. And then he died, uh, well, in the original account, it says he died immediately there after his wounds being washed at a spring. So in both accounts, the king, Uther and Tudrig both die immediately after stopping by a spring. Uh, again, just a few days later, after this successful battle that they had after coming out of retirement. It's a very, very similar story. It's incredibly similar, similar. And I think, honestly, that there's so much evidence that Tudrig was the historical Uther Pendragon. And if he is, then it means that there is where the body of Uther Pendragon lies.